case against the retired Chester firefighter seen in this angry crowd. He's seen on video assaulting officers trying to protect the Capitol. Action News reporter George Solis is live now in Center City with more on the allegations. George. Hey, Sarah and Brian. Sanford appearing virtually in federal court this afternoon to answer for those charges in connection with the video related to that siege at the Capitol. The judge denying his release at the request of his attorney saying he was a threat to the public. Federal authorities have now identified a retired firefighter from Chester as a man seen in images hurling a fire extinguisher at police during the siege at the Capitol. 55 year old Robert Sanford now accused of throwing the extinguisher that struck three police officers. Court documents obtained by Action News revealed it was a longtime friend of Sanford that identified him to the FBI. Documents also alleged that Sanford confessed to that friend he was one the feds were looking for. The charging documents going on to say Sanford traveled to D.C. on a bus with a group, listened to the president, and on his orders began heading to the Capitol. Action News stopping by Sanford's last known address in Upper Chichester and found no one home. A nearby neighbor shocked by the allegations. If he did it, I don't think it was called for, for him to do it. If he is in fact charged what he's accused of, what do you think should happen? He should go to jail. During Sanford's initial federal court appearance, his defense attorney doing his best to play up Sanford as a husband, father, and firefighter in the city of Chester. Prosecutors calling Sanford a flight risk and a danger to the public. In a statement, Mayor Thaddeus Kirkland noting Sanford is not a current employee of the city, adding, quote, on behalf of the city of Chester, I offer my deepest, most heartfelt condolences to the family and friends who lost a loved one as a result of the events that transpired on that day. One former acquaintance of Sanford who asked we not show her face says the allegations are a far cry from the man she remembers. I'm shocked because Bob, Bobby wasn't like that when I met him. You know, he wasn't like that. That wasn't the Bobby I know. Now in court this afternoon, it was revealed that Sanford did turn in his passport in the hopes that it would help his case for release. The judge is again not buying it. His attorney adding he was not affiliated with any extremist groups. However, it was revealed that during a search warrant at his house, they did find a Proud, Board, Proud Boys t-shirt inside of the home. Real Live in Center City, George Solis, Channel 6, Action News. Back